What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? My name is Hugo Froom, and I am back reacting to a video called Five Spooky R Random Naka Videos that creep you out. That creep you out. That will anything will creep me out. Freaking oh man, what's this by? This is by Shadow Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Who sent? Who just sent this? Me, who sent this me again? I think it was one of my cousins, or was it one of my friends? It's one of us. One of the people. One of my people sent me, <laughs> sent me a link of this. I don't like scary stuff, but they're like, "Hey, you should do this because you know, you you, you want to, you should do something challenging." I'm like, "I don't like challenges. That's what I do. I do do not love challenge because it's quite easy for me because I'm soulless. I am soulless." All right, whatever. Let's let's just watch this and see. No, what's let's let's just watch this to see what's going on. There we go. One, two, three, mm, go. Five spooky randonautica videos that'll creep you out. Returning home. This first set of somewhat spooky videos comes to us from a TikToker named Kathy Goulinger, a mother and wife who, for the most part, documents her paranormal experiences in and around her own house. I've featured one or two of her videos in the past for this very reason, showing what she thinks could have been a spirit or ghost of sorts occupying the neighboring yard. Anyway, in addition to this, she has also uploaded a TikTok explaining where she used to live as a child and states that's where her paranormal experiences started. Okay guys, so I said I'd share pics of the house I grew up in. Um, I probably remember being in this house from the time I was about maybe five until almost ten years old. Now the outside of it speaks for itself, although over the years it has gotten a lot worse. Um, Looks like it needs a new roof. Um, the upstairs window where you see the satellite dish, that was my parents' room. On the far side where you can see there's um, like a camper, an RV or whatever back there, my window faced back that way, which was, there was an old garage, which is probably hard to see in this photo. And here's like, you know, it was like a duplex. There were other people living to the far left there. So we shared the brand up at yeah, that is the house where I had a lot of experiences as a child. That is the house where the sleep paralysis started for me and the voices. Fast forward a few months to the last couple of weeks and Kathy has been convinced by her own daughter to give the app a random nautica a go. After much consideration, Kathy agrees to go on a little adventure and give the app a chance, probably to humor her daughter or to kill a couple of hours in the weekend. However, soon after receiving her coordinates, Kathy starts to think there may be more to this app than she first thought. You see, the app decides to bring her back to this creepy house where she used to live as a child, and more specifically, a bush area across the street. Okay guys, so my daughter talked me into trying this rando nodding thing, <laughs> and the location it gave us was right across the street from that freaking creepy house I showed you earlier in one of my TikToks. This is the house. There's the proof. It's, <laughs> it's the address it gave us across the street from that creepy house I grew up in that I showed you guys earlier. There's the trail it wants us to take that's across the street from the creepy house. And this is the creepy store that used to be here that's all closed down. We'll keep you updated. This should be interesting. Despite already being a little weirded out by this, she still agrees that she'll check out what's in the bushes just so she can get on with the rest of her day. Okay, so we went down that little path that I told you guys about um, across the street from the old house I grew up in, and we found this. And it's a pound, uh, I don't know, a mound of dirt that looked like it had been dug up. And there you go, shovel and an ice pick in the middle of the woods like someone had been digging there. Um, it was really creepy and there was a lot of mosquitoes, so we didn't stick around. We just got out of there, but that's the update, guys. If being sent to the supposed haunted house where Kathy used to live as a child wasn't creepy enough, she also finds a shovel and a fresh mound of dirt. I'm going to assume both Kathy and her daughter were creeped out by this and left the area. 
Commenters of the original video liken her life to a strange thriller or horror movie, and I would have to agree to some points. If you want to watch more of Kathy's TikTok videos, head on over to her page. Hell no, nah, hell no, nah. just, just watching just uh, scares, kind of creep me already, so, um, uh, yeah. Kitty K38 A Lost Identity a man by the name of Brian from Texas uploaded the next two videos to TikTok a while back and has confused many of his viewers. Late one night, Brian decided to give this rando naughting a try after seeing it plastered all over his TikTok and Facebook. He downloads the app, generates a point from his apartment, grabs his car keys and gets going. Even though it's late at night, the coordinates are only about three minutes from his place so he's not too worried. The following is what happened once he got to the spot that the Rando Nautica app generated for him. Right, so I'm trying out Rando Nodding. I just produced somewhere on the map. It's only about three minutes away. So we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, and by the way, it's 1 a.m. and I'm by myself. Some people are scared, but what have I gotta be scared of? Three minutes away? I've seen everything within three minutes of my house. Everywhere you see, right? No empty lots. Brings me to the one empty lot. It's right over here. It's the exact spot. I can't tell exactly because it closed out, but it's somewhere. It was in the grassy area over here. Significant items. All I see is trash. Foam, typical litter. I don't see anything at all. So far, everything seems normal. I mean, there's nothing out of place, really. Nothing standing out. That is until Brian searches the ground and, more specifically, the grass next to the power pole. I don't know the significance, but I said a lot of it's metaphorical. Anywhere in the grass, just more grass. After he finds something down at the base of the post, part one of his TikTok ends there. The spooky part comes when he realizes just what he's come across. We're in Texas. California driver's license. I just found this. Now this is unusual. When is this driver's license from? Oh, it expires 2004. So I mean, it's pretty old. It's been expired for 16 years. Born in 1965, California's driver's license. Just tucked next to a wooden pole. Made it home and this is super f***ed. Man killed in shootout with police identified August 14th, 2001. Was supposedly depressed. He killed two of his neighbors in the apartment building and then suicide by cop pretty much. Shot to death by police Monday after charging at SWAT officers with a rifle in his hands has been identified as Dwayne, age 36. The first, middle, and last name, and subtracting all the numbers comes out to the correct age, so I know it's him. Good God, that... Oh, so scary. What the hell, man? What the hell? Oh. After finding an old Californian driver's license that expired in the year 2004, he quickly does some research online and discovers that the man whose license it is was involved in a shootout with police back in August of 2001. Not only that, but the man was apparently depressed and was found to be the killer of two people in his own apartment building, shortly before having it out with the cops. What makes this even weirder is that the man was from California. However, Brian, the TikToker who recorded all of this, found it in the state of Texas. So, why would Rando Nautica send someone to the location to find a murderer's old driver's license? Who really knows? Definitely creepy if you ask me. Black Bag this next short video was uploaded by a woman named Fear, or Too Much Fear, as she is known on TikTok. Just like all the others on this list, Fear became intrigued with the idea of going out randonauting and decided to download the app and drive out to where her spot was. Okay guys, so this is randonauting part two. I honestly was manifesting something weird, creepy, that I don't know, just something out of the normal. And it brought us to this. 
At first, she didn't really seem to see anything out of the ordinary. That was until what I can only assume as her partner acknowledged that nearby was a black trash bag. Curious, they walked over and realized there was a strong, overwhelming smell coming from it. I can see that there's a bird, like, just flying over that, like, space, but I don't know. What is that? It smells so bad. It's a dead body. It's a dead I body. It's a dead body. I, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, no, what the f is that? It is a cat. It is a cat. Is that no, something? this is so f***ed up. Guys, I f***ing manifested a f***ing So f***ing bad. That's something dead for real. Upon further inspection, both Fia and her partner, or friend, agreed that it was a dead cat or another similar small animal. So it was a dead body. I was right. This, once again, shows that you really do have to have good or positive intentions. Fia states that she had the intention on finding something weird, creepy, or something out of the ordinary. And, well, that's pretty much what she got. What do you guys think? Coincidence, or did the app really deliver on what she asked for? Donna Jean Orcock Another quick little video, once again from TikTok. I'm unsure on the uploader's name, however she does appear to be a mother and a grandmother who works at a hospital, so big respect, especially in times like this. Anyway, the video in question is a little creepy to say the least. Her and what I can only assume are her daughters and or friends go out rando naughting and the app immediately takes them down a small dirt trail. Which you may not think is that spooky, however the dirt trail ends up leading them exactly to a small memorial of a young woman who was murdered in the early 1980s. Hold up, they went to a murder site? What the heck? This is our spot. This is the exact spot on the random nodding. What is it? What the f This is the exact spot? This is the exact spot. <gasps> it's a freaking memorial? It's a grave. No, it's not a grave. I mean a memorial. Look at this. This is so strange. I quickly searched online and the girl's name was Donna Jean Orcock. She was a 17 year old girl who was beaten, raped and strangled in London, Ontario, Canada, October 1983 after a night of babysitting. Unfortunately, her case still remains unsolved. But the fact that the three women's Randonautica coordinates were placed exactly on the girl's memorial was the creepy part. Perhaps the app or the poor girl who died still want closure for what happened all those years ago. Who knows? If you wanted to learn more about this girl or her unsolved case, simply Google her name, Donna Jean Orcock. Double Rainbow. Hold on a second. You know, I, I just realized something. When the Nautica is, is an app. <laughs> <laughs> it, it told me 12 minutes it told me remember i did not choose this a video my my either one of my cousins or, or my friend did or my brother did chose this video for me so i didn't know what rando nautica is nautica rando nautica is so um yeah um let's continue <laughs> To finish off the video, I thought I would put oh, a creepy, or should I say negative, video in. The following TikTok video was uploaded by a young girl named Amanda, or as she is known on TikTok as The Panda Show. Her and her friends one day went out randonauting with the specific intent on a number of different things, all of which they made very clear at the start of the video. The group also acknowledged that the app may in fact listen to you through the phone, so instead of talking about what they wanted to see, they wrote it down. This is what happened. 
So me and my friends wanted to try randonauting. We didn't want to say anything out loud in case the app is listening. So we wrote down what we were going to focus on. We put in the blind spot and then we did quantum and it gave us this location. So we didn't see anything there. We were getting kind of disappointed. So we were like, whatever, it didn't work. We're going to leave. We drove around the corner and as soon as we turned the corner, this is what we saw. And then literally 30 minutes later, we Holy crap, a rainbow. That was the only keyword I saw. <laughs> up and see this. Even though the ending of this video is somewhat positive and happy, the app once again delivered on what the group asked for, which is spooky in its own way. Yet, another great example of Rando Nautica giving just what its users request, whether it be negative or in this case, positive. So, so, it's, it's, Random not cut just for iPhones or, or, or for, oh, hold on a second. No, they did. It's also for Android too. I do not want to find out. I do not want to find out. I don't want to be creeped out. That's why. I don't like this. I don't like this. Scary ass. Scary ass app. I don't know why people just like, oh, look, creepy stuff. Let's do it. Uh. Let's download it. Oh, uh, what if you meet a dead? What if you? What if you be a like like like, like, a, like a chainsaw, chainsaw Bella or whatever, man? What if you meet the the, the, the Jason or Freddy or Michael? Freaking! What if they you die? What if you die? Will the app take responsibility? Will the app maker creator? Will the app creator will take uh, responsibility? Hell no! I have no idea. I have no idea. Ugh. Good guy. Scary ass amp. Screw you people. Screw this video. Screw this. Screw this. Anyways. Anyways. <sighs> what you guys think about this video? <laughs> if you like it, press like. If you want to comment, go ahead. Subscribe. <laughs> Peace.